We're going to show on this video how to remove dead fur from a little black mini lot called Barack O Bunny. And she has quite a lot of dead fur. You can see it all there. This also has dead fur in it, if I just pull like that. Susie brings the camera in a bit. And I just pull that gently like that. You can see the dead fur come out. Twist it up. See that? So we're going to use a slicker brush. <coughs> I'm using a double-sided slicker brush, um, which is my favourite. It's a, yours, Drooly. has a wire hook, and each, each little wire has a little curved hook on the end. <coughs> now, this is not something you'd let children use. It's can be, it can cut the skin. So we're going to use it with a light, gentle dragging motion like that, straight through. And we just repeat it in one spot. And why I like this brush is because it has a flexible head, so it's much harder to cut the skin because the brush gives with each stroke. And as long as you don't use this end part, because that can, if you do it like that, it can scratch the skin. So you use a flat motion like that to get the fur out. And then you remove the fur from the comb, from the brush, with just with a gentle motion with the comb. And if you have a nice blanket on the table, you can just use that to wipe your fur out of your comb. Nice and easy. So usually we start from the back. You can just look on that bit there. You can see all that dead fur in there. So we're going to do it, just a little bit of it, there. And we're going to do it fast. We have quite a lot of fur. Back. back to the back again and start again. So there's a lot of dead fur here to take out. And she's a very well behaved bunny, just sits there and lets us do it. Above the tail is where they can't really reach that well. So you'll often find a lot of dead fur in there. You can even pluck it with a gentle plucking motion with your thumb and forefinger like that to help get rid of some of it. You can see it all coming out there. Now this fur is much better out than it is in the belly of the rabbit. If you don't remove your dead fur from your rabbit, your rabbit might ingest it and, and get a fur blockage. So we're just going to smooth her off, but that's the general idea. You can do as little or as much each day as you like, but you should groom your bunny daily. Again, this comb is great, this slicker brush, because you can turn it over and use the other side to save a little bit of time with cleaning. You can clean them both out at the same time, and that gives you two more shots at getting all the fur out. Turn it over. We'll just look at this again. There's still tons of dead fur in there, so this will take a day or two to work on her to get most of this out. Then just finishing off, just smooth the fur down. And then rub with your hand to smooth it down. Reposition bunny and smooth it down. And that's all for today.